Welcome LEGO fans to another LEGO Middle Earth special here on Boo Brick 09's channel. We haven't had one of these for a while, so I figured that it was about time that we do another one. Uh, before I get started, I just want to let you know, if I sound a little weird today, I've got a little under the weather. So, uh, but I still want to film some awesome LEGO reviews for you guys to see. So pardon me if my voice sounds a little flat or whatever, but I'll try to do the best that I can considering. So today is a armor special, I should say an armor special, here on the Miller Specials playlist. We did one for weapons a while back and that was a huge pile, but for armor as you can see it's pretty small, at least at the moment. I know that in the next Hobbit Wave I saw a couple of minifigures with some awesome armor, so that will be really cool to get some of those and I'll try to remember to update this video uh, shortly after we get some of those other sets. If I forget please remind me in the comments section of the discussion page. So, I just separated into two piles, simple as it gets, bad guys and good guys. So, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the bad guys. That includes some of the most boring armor, and it also includes the most exciting piece of armor. So, we'll go ahead and start out with this boring, uh, oh, what's it called? I just basically just call it the, I just call it the basic armor. I think it's a breastplate. I think that's the proper term. It comes with the Urukai and both the Urukai army and the Battle of Helm's Deep sets. So we'll go ahead and put it on this minifigure. Now we'll go ahead and put it on this one. I wanted to choose an exciting minifigure for us to, to try these out on. No, I'm kidding. Uh, for, the, for the weapon special, we did Peregrine Took, so I figured that for the armor special, we'd use Mary Alec Brandy Buck. So it kind of looks like he does when he's charging into the battle of the planter fields. And it makes him look a bit taller too, which I'm sure he likes. So you can catch up to Peregrine Tuk, who's drunk, drank, some ent drop. I don't really feel like focusing on grammar today. I think it's who drank some ent drop. I don't know, whatever. He sips some ent drop, how about that? just so that we don't offend any English teachers or anything out there. So that's that armor. Next we have this which comes on Yaznik and Attack of the Wargs. Uh, it's not so much armor as it is like a decorative chest piece. Um, this is going to look really weird on Mary, I know that. For those of you who don't know, that's Mary, that's uh, short for Mariotic. Yeah, I figured that would look a little odd and I was right. So, maybe not so much for Mary out of the Brandy Buck. Next we'll go ahead and look at some head armor, or helmets. This is the Urukai helmet. There's two versions. This is the more boring one. It's got, an eye, it's got a little slit there for the eyes. A little crust on top to make them look more menacing. And see, he can still see out, which is cool. You can even still see his eyebrows and his mouth. You don't have to worry about the nose because, well, Lego minifigures don't have a nose. That's what makes them so distinguishable. Next is a more exciting one, which comes with the White Hand of Saruman printed on it. This, this version only comes in two sets, the Orc Forge, which is hard to find, and the Tower of Orthonk, which is both hard to find and extremely expensive. But I do have it. Because I'm a Lego Middle-Earth freak. I had to have it. After saving up for a while. Anyway, now this is the most exciting armor piece in this entire show, but I figured I'd start with the bad guys first, so I'll go ahead and show it to you. This comes on the mouth of Sauron in the Battle of the Black Gate. For those of you who don't know who that is, he's from the extended edition of the Return of the King. He's basically a, an ugly liar with giant stalactite teeth that comes out to tell Aragorn, Gandalf, Merry Pippin, Gimli, Legolas, Aragorn. Maybe Amir. Anyway, a bunch of people that Frodo is dead, but of course we all know that Frodo isn't dead. Until Gandalf forces him to go to the Great Havens. Oh, spoiler alert. So as you can see, it mostly covers up his eyes. Um, that's what it's supposed to do, because in the movie, all you can see is his mouth, and that's why it's called the Mouth of Sauron. But anyway, this came in its own little bag in the set. It is an awesome piece. I love it. And I think it's one of the... I think it might be in my top three favorite Lego pieces of all time. It might even be my favorite, I'm not sure. But we've gotten so many cool Lego pieces over the years, but that one is awesome. Alright, we'll go ahead and switch gears now and go to the good guys. Since we all have seen Gimli, 
100 times. We'll go ahead and start out with him. This is his helmet. Now you have to admit it is a pretty cool helmet, even if you have seen it four gazillion times. It's going to look weird on Mary, I think. Yeah, he looks all ready for the Battle of the Five Armies there. And to, for those of you who don't know what that is, read The Hobbit. Or wait until the final installment of The Hobbit Trilogy by Peter Jackson comes out. Now we have three versions of the same helmet, but each one has some different inscriptions on it. The first one doesn't have any runes or writing or patterns on it. Looks pretty good on Mary, I think. Comes on the Rohan soldier in the Urkai army set. Next we have Aemir's helmet from the same set, but this one has some nice yellow printing on it. That looks like a horse there. That's actually the first time I noticed that. Was, I know it sounds awful. And then just some basic golden printing on the rest of it. And ideally if it's right between the eyes, and you can do that if you just spend a little time with it. Because we want him to be able to see in battle, don't we? The next two I'm going to go ahead and put together because they both belong to King Theoden from the Battle of Helm's Deep. And this is some awesome armor, which helps to make King Theoden one of the best minifigures of all time, in my opinion. So there you can see it on Mary. He looks very distinguished now, which I'm sure he loves. You can see all that awesome printing over it. And the Battle of Helm's Deep is already a good price per piece to begin with, but these pieces help make it even better because these are exclusive, at least the patterns on them. And everybody's going to want this armor, at least anyone who's a big Lego printing and armor fan. And you can see some more horse heads on there. Of course, that is the symbol for Rohan, is the horse. They're called the Horse Lords, and that almost looks like a compass rose on there. But I'm sure it's not magnetic. Oh wait, maybe it is. No, just kidding. So that's about it for this armor special. Please tell me in the comments below what you think are the better pieces of armor, or your favorite, or your least favorite. Or if you just like Merry and Pippin, you can tell me in the comments below as well. If you don't like Merry and Pippin, then you have something wrong with you because they're the best characters in Lord of the Rings. So, I hope you enjoyed this armor special. Here is a last look at all the armor that we've gotten so far. Now, like I said, if we do get more armor, I'll put it, I'll try to remember to update this video. If I don't remember, please remind me. I have a lot of updates to do on some of my, well, some of my other specials too, so I might forget, because this is a bit, a bit of a smaller special. But I will try to remember. If I don't, please remind me. Make sure you check out some more LEGO Middle Earth specials, LEGO Lord of the Rings, LEGO The Hobbit Reviews, T-Falls Play With LEGO, and all the other awesome stuff on this channel. And in the description is a link to our good friend Andrew19Andrew30's channel, so make sure you don't miss that either. So, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.